Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Mrs. Stewart. Good morning, boys and girls that are watching. It is going to be a great day. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad you came to school. Good morning, boys and girls. Class stand. Good morning, Good morning Mrs. Stewart. Good morning. Let's turn and face our friends and sing good morning to them. Good morning, good morning to, to our friends. friends. Good, good morning, morning to our friends. friends. I'm so glad you came to school. Good morning to our friends. Great job. Sit down. I want to talk to you today, oh, about something special. Something that we need to be every day. It's called respectful. Say that word with me. Respectful. Respectful. We should be respectful. Now, there's lots of ways that we can be respectful. Let's look at this picture right here. Do you see this mommy right here? And look at this little boy. This little boy, what does he look like he is doing, Carter? Stan, tell me. Can you talk to me really loud? Yes, he is pushing the chair in for his mama. He had pulled the chair out for her. She sat down and just before she sits all the way down, he starts to push the chair in. That way she gets all tucked into the table. Just like when I tell you to tuck into the table and you tuck your tummy to the table and your back to the chair, he makes sure that she's sitting up straight and tall too, sitting in her chair. And that's showing respect. Do you know that when we um, when I go out with Mr. Stewart, he does that for Mrs. Stewart. When we sit down for dinner, before he sits down, he does that for me. He pushes in my chair and makes sure I'm sitting down first, and then he sits down. That's what daddy should do for mommies. Do you know you can do that for your mommy too, boys? You can be a gentleman. When you're being a gentleman, you're being respectful. So when this little boy is helping his mommy into that chair, he is being respectful. Oh, there's lots of ways to be respectful. Now, if you called your mommy by her first name, do you think that would be respectful? No. no, that's why you call her mommy. Now, daddy can call her by her first name, but you need to call her mommy or mom or mother. Those are showing respect when you say those things. That's calling her respect. Now, my name is Mrs. Stewart. What's my name? Mrs. Mrs. Stewart, but do you think it would be respectful if you just said Stewart? If you raised your head and hand and said, Stewart, I need to go to the restroom, would that be respectful by calling me just Stewart? No. no. That's why you call me Mrs. Stewart. The Mrs. part shows respect for me because I'm a lady and I'm married and I'm Mrs. Stewart. So that's why you call me Mrs. Stewart instead of just Stewart. That's showing respect for your teacher. Those are ways we can be respectful. When you see a mister and you don't just say their last name, you wouldn't call Mr. Stewart Stewart, you would say Mr. Stewart. That's being respectful. Now, there's other ways you can be respectful at home. How about when you go before you get in the car? Now, if you're with mommy and daddy, when dad, you could say, daddy, I can open the door for mommy, and then you could open the door for mommy, and when mommy gets all in and her legs are in and her hands are in the, inside the door, then you could shut the door for mommy, and that's showing respect. The same as when you get out of the door. Maybe on your way to church and you get out of church, you could get out of the car first, shut your door, and go and open mommy's door first. That's showing respect. How about if you go to the store? Maybe you go to the store with mommy and you go and you could open the door first for mommy and let mommy go through. What if there's a la another lady coming through? Maybe an older lady like a grandma, you could keep the door open for her and let her go through and then you, mommy would wait for you to do that and you would be showing that you are showing respect to somebody that's older than you. That's being respectful. What are you doing? Respectful. Yes, you're being respectful. So those are lots of ways that you can be respectful at home or to your teacher. Keeping your eyes on the teacher, not playing with your clothes, is being respectful to your teacher. When you keep your eyes on your teacher and you have your lips quiet and your hands are being still and you're doing your best, that's being respectful to the teacher. How about when the teacher is talking? Are you supposed to talk? No. no, that would be being very respectful to the teacher when you wait for Mrs. Stewart to ask the questions. And then you wait for me, that's being respectful. How about 
about this family right here? Let's look at them. They're in church right now. Do you see their eyes? Look at his eyes. Look at her eyes. Look at the little boy's eyes. Where do you think they're looking? They are. They're looking at the preacher. How about their ears? Look at his ears and her ears and his ears. What do you think they're doing? They're listening. Mm -hmm. They're listening. They're watching with their eyes right at the preacher. They're listening with their ears what the preacher is saying. Mm, you could do that here at school. Keep your eyes on the teacher. Listen with your ears. Mm -hmm. And then look at their lips right here. What are they doing? Quiet. Yes, their lips are quiet, aren't they? They're not talking. The little boy's not trying to pull on his mommy and talk to his mommy. He's not playing. They're being very quiet. They're being very respectful to the preacher, but also to God, because that's God's house. And they're listening to what God has to say through the preacher. Mm. Do you see what's in their laps right here? Let me ask the question. Jonathan, what's in their laps? Bible. Yes, it's the Bible. Boys and girls watching, do you have one of those? Do you go to church with your Bible? Do you know you do? Well, do you, it's a blue one. Well, do you know that the Bible, it's not, you don't bring the Bible to church so that you can put a piece of paper on it and scribble in color. That's not being respectful to the Bible. In church, we should open it up to the chapter and the verse. That's the address where the verses are found that we've been learning to where the preacher is talking from. He always tells us where we can find the verses. And we open it up and we listen. Now you can have a piece of paper and a pen to write down what the preacher is saying, but it's not there to close and just a color on top of. It's, that's not what the Bible is for. We need to be respectful to the Bible and at church. And do they look, does he look like he's playing with toys? No. no, he's not playing with toys. He's being so quiet and being very respectful. I'm gonna be looking today. I'm gonna be watching. Boys and girls, are you gonna be respectful today? Doing your best for your teacher? How about at home? Are you gonna be respectful at home for mommy and daddy? You could show ways that you are respectful by helping mommy by being courteous, by opening doors for her, or sh helping her in her chair, by being respectful, by listening and watching with your eyes and listening with your ears today, Oakley, in school. And then when you go to church on Wednesdays or Sundays, you can be respectful at church to listen to the preacher or your Sunday school teacher and not to play. Those are all ways that we can be what? Respectful. respectful. I hope today I'm gonna find lots of boys and girls that are going to be respectful. I can already tell who's going to be respectful. Some of you have kept your hands in your lap and you've kept your eyes on me this whole time and you are listening. You're being respectful. I hope I can find lots of children today who are going to be respectful all day.